Have you ever wondered how accurate police sketches are? I'm gonna show you some sketches, then I'm gonna show you the person that was caught and we're gonna see. And I cover all things spooky on this channel, so make sure you follow along. So this photo right here is a police sketch of the original Night Stalker, also known as the Golden State Killer. The Golden State Killer is known for terrorizing California in the 70s and 80s. So it took a really long time for them to be able to catch the Golden State Killer. And part of the reason is they thought that he was two different killers at first. They thought it was one person who was responsible for a bunch of SAs that were happening in Northern California, and then a separate person that years later was responsible for taking people's lives. But DNA evidence proved that it was one man, and these are some sketches of him. One thing that really stands out to me is this like all American kind of boy next door look that he almost has. In 2018, DNA evidence proved that it was Joseph D'Angelo who was the Golden State Killer, but let's look at some pictures of him when he was younger. The other photos to me don't look as similar, but this is spot on to me. There's so many little details in this photo that are correct from the swoopy hair to the chubby cheeks and the thin lips. Like even the ears look identical. And you'll notice here that he is in a cop uniform because he was a cop, which is something that they figured because of the nature of his crimes. One thing that he would do to victims was he would wake them up by shining a flashlight into their eyes, which is something that the police would use to disorient um, people that they were arresting. Ultimately, it was DNA evidence from a genealogical database that put him away, but I'm a little bit surprised they didn't catch him based on the sketch because it looks so similar to me.